Tutorial 5 Tracks Create a track by clicking on the above icon. If so desired, connect it to a character and a plot. The track tool is used to highlight scenes that make up a set in the story. There is no rule for creating a track, and it is left to the author to decide what subject he would like to accompany. For example, in City of God, there is a track for Zé Pequeno as protagonist in the second act, and another track for him as antagonist in the third act when Mané Galinha becomes the protagonist. In other words, there are two tracks for the same character. There are also tracks that accompany a subplot, the war between Mané Galinha and Zé Pequeno in the third act, and even those that accompany one of the film's concepts, police corruption, clearly revealing where the scenes related to this subject are in the screenplay. A track can be applied to each scene. Just drag it from the control window directly to the script. Each time it is applied, a window pops up in which to characterize the influence this scene has within the general track. The same scene can be part of one or more tracks. For example, in City of God, the scene of the battle between Mané Galinha and Zé Pequeno in the story's climax is part of six different tracks. An icon is located next to the scene heading in the script, revealing the number of tracks that exist in that scene. By passing over it with a mouse, you can read the summary of each one. If you click, you are able to edit the text or erase that occurrence. In the graph, tracks can be seen as bars, similar to the character's graph, or as strips, separately showing the occurrence of each one in each scene in the script. Just run the mouse over it to read the text. As it works as a guide to sets of scenes in the screenplay, tracks are visible semi-transparent in the background of the graph. This facilitates its visualization in combination with other elements of story touch. For example, in City of God, we can better understand the graph of the values of criminal bad for community, criminal good for community, by comparing the tracks of Zé Pequeno and Mané Galinha. Notice that when Zé Pequeno is protagonist, helping City of God, the value of good criminal reaches its peak. When he is dominated by his ego and greed, becoming antagonist, the value is totally reversed. When Mané Galinha appears as a possible opponent able to defeat Zé Pequeno, the good criminal value dominates once again. But in the end, when the two of them are swept up in their own personal battle, oblivious to the well-being of the community, the bad criminal value reigns.